Hey everyone, this is Tom from mp4nation.net talking about the applications available on the Nationite OS72 HR media player. Okay, if you install the new firmware, you should get this new tab here, which uh, means you can install applications and you can find out where to get them and how to install them from the blog, which will be available as a link from this video. Okay, I've installed all mine, so go into Applications folder. First one we're going to look at is the PDF reader. Okay, the .cc are the executable files. And uh, here we go. Now choose a PDF. Navigating with the volume button. Here we go. This one will do. Right. So as we can see, the quality is really good. Unfortunately, for some reason, it only displays in black and white. But part of... The, more than I don't know, the, the good definition more than makes up for it, and it's going to be no problem at all for ebook readers, of course. Okay, as I just did, you can navigate in chunks or finely tune the movement, and also in the menu, which is all Chinese, you can scroll down. Not like that. It's the third one down, and then select the second down, it says 90, which allows you to flip it. So again, great for ebook readers. Okay, so uh, yeah, besides the black and white thing, which, as I say, for most ebooks isn't a problem, and even for PDFs, just do the high definition, I think it's a really, really good application. Okay, let's back up. Next application is the text reader. Okay, text reader CC. Choose one. Go to books. Just the one on here. Okay, with this screen, the bold, bright letters, um, it's just much nicer on the eye than the on board uh, .txt reader. And it essentially does the same thing, um, but yeah, you're not going to um, use the other one over this, I don't think. And again, for just that, even reading a book on in .txt format, this would do the job. It's uh, much nicer on the eye. Again, there's options, they're in Chinese, um, but you can flip the screen. That's that one. The next one is Bubble Pop, which, I mean, we all know Bubble Bubble. This is the same thing, with a slightly different name. Not that different, though, to be honest, but it's a, it's a standard game. It's sturdy. The colours are bright. It looks really good. Okay, and it's surprisingly smooth gameplay. And it can be played with a remote as well. So yeah, it's definitely worth having. Okay, let's back up out of this. Applications. Okay, next up, Gold Miner. Again, another one by Dingu Games, who seem to be uh, making games for the China chip. Yes, nice little jingle. Wow. Again, it's a classic game. Bold, nice bold graphics. A good little time time passer. So there's that one. Okay, Pick Show. I wouldn't recommend that, to be honest, just because although it's quite good for scrolling, zooming, looking through videos, I've yet to find a way out of it without turning the player off. So avoid Pick Show unless you're feeling adventurous. Okay, Spot the Difference is another game by Dingu. Again, it kind of does what it says on the tin. It's given images like this. Sometimes it's 
this looks pretty difficult, but sometimes you just get a house and a boat, that kind of thing. Um, again, simple to play, nice to pass the time. Okay, and the last one that we're going to look at today is the torch, which isn't the most necessary application. Uh, the PDF really does take it. And it's, yeah, the PDF's great. This one, maybe not so great. It's, this is the torch, and you just increase the size depending on how dark it is outside. Okay, I've tried it in a cupboard. It does give out quite a lot of light, but it also, I'd imagine, saps your battery. But yeah, if you ever find yourself in a fix, it's only a small application. You might as well have it. Okay, and that's it for this time. Thank you.